The world isn't black and white, just shades of grey. But what if it's just shades of blue? blue is the color of all that I wear. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the top 5 facts about color blindness. Double rainbow, oh my god. It's a double rainbow all the way. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 5. The term color blindness is inaccurate. And you said it was a yellow pill, similar to Prosecutor William's shirt. Yes. The first thing you need to know about the term color blind is that it's a bit of a misnomer. In actuality, 99% of people the term applies to are only color vision deficient, meaning they do see color, but may not see it correctly. Which dress works better for you, the red one or the green one? Which one is the red one? A chromatopsia refers to total color blindness, aka grayscale vision, but at 1 in 40,000 people worldwide, it's pretty rare. It don't if you're black or white. Rod monochromacy produces similar vision and is slightly more common at 1 in 30,000. Rarest of all, but perhaps most interesting, is cone monochromacy, wherein the eye only sees either blue, green, or red with no hue distinction, with both the green and red forms affecting one in a million people, and the blue cone form affecting less than one in a hundred thousand. Even the far more common blue-yellow color blindness is inaccurate as it actually affects blues and greens, while the garden variety red-green is murky given how it affects other colors like purples and browns. Shapes and colors the likes of which I've never seen. Number 4. Dogs see fewer colors than humans do, but other animals see many more. I'M SAYING THAT IT'S FUN OF IT'S BETTER THAN WHAT THE FIRST while many people think that animals as a whole, and dogs especially, are colorblind across the board, this is not true. It's true that dogs see fewer colors than most humans do, but they do still see color, just in a limited form. I'm just saying, Lois, some of us go through life without seeing color. That's because you're colorblind, Brian. This all comes down to the number of photopigments in the eye. Where humans have three, dogs and most mammals are stuck with two. The book says cut the red wire. We're dogs. We're colorblind! Primates typically have three photopigments as humans do, but all male squirrel monkeys are red-green colorblind. The humble butterfly, meanwhile, sees far more color than we simple humans ever could. Number three, it affects more men than women, but it's actually their mother's fault. Look, Ray, one is red and one is green. What are you, colorblind? I am, actually. If it seems like more men tend to be colorblind than women, it's because they actually are. Where one in 200 women are colorblind, the same is true for one in 12 men. There's nothing wrong with it. There are dozens of us. Dozens! This comes down to most forms of colorblindness being linked to the X chromosome. While women get an X chromosome for each parent, and thus can be made gene carriers by their colorblind fathers, men receive their solitary X chromosome from their mother, and if it's tainted, well, sorry, no refunds. Even if Mama Bear only carries the gene but isn't herself colorblind, the odds are 50 50 that Junior will be baffled by Christmas colored plaid. What are you wearing? Oh, Mum made it. Number two, it may cost you your job or keep you from driving or flying. You can't fly jets if you're colorblind. While your grandmother, primary school teacher, and that one guy at the office will tell you that colorblindness is enough to keep would be pilots grounded, it's not entirely true. Colorblind pilots are often the subject of restrictions, such as not flying at night, but they can still feel the need. The need for speed. Ow! Less fortunate are drivers in Turkey, Romania, and Singapore, which do not issue licenses to the colorblind, and police forces including the New York State Police, Los Angeles Police Force, and the Washington State Patrol, who all ban colorblind candidates. Military career choices for the colorblind can be limited. I can't see nothing. However, during World War II, being colorblind was seen as an advantage because camouflage was thought to be less effective to the colorblind eye. Other occupations may provide stumbling blocks, such as color coded electrical work, but that didn't stop crayon molder Emerson Mosser, who, after 35 years with Crayola, revealed himself to be blue green colorblind. Kids, let's wrap. You guys don't give half a brown Crayola what I do for a living, do you? No. No, no. Number one, it's a disability, not a party trick. The most important thing to know, if even for your own safety, is that color blindness isn't a novelty act. I'm not colorblind, am I? I'm afraid you are. 
It may seem highly amusing that an otherwise intelligent person can't tell pink from teal, but mocking them for it is on par with making fun of any other disability. What are you deaf? What are you, colorblind? Whoa! Wow. Too soon. In fact, a Brazilian court not only determined that colorblindness is a disability, it's also legally protected from discrimination. Many colorblind people are cautious of commenting on color, lest they wind up in a sudden death round of name the color with jerks around them. Do you even know what color the ocean is? Never mind everyday things like red hair being orange or blue dogs being gray, trying to color coordinate an outfit can be a landmine of potential disaster, and just forget about buying ripe bananas. <laughs> So please, the next time you feel like making fun of someone for asking what colour this is, just remember, they can't buy ripe bananas. Haven't they suffered enough already? So which of these facts did you find the most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.